Scoreline. Next season, AFL footy could be worth a million dollars a round to some lucky punters. It all depends on your ability to pick the best team from all the AFL sides. Uh, we've got a couple of wingers we've got to pick. Oh. No, no, no. Matera, no, no, no. yes. Bradley. Yes. Bradley. Yes. Yes. Quite simply, if the 18 players you pick and place are the highest stat getters for the round, you win the cash. If you, you're lucky enough to pick the perfect team, pick the best full forward, the best centre-half forward and so on throughout the whole team, uh, you'll be lucky enough to win a million bucks. Tennis ace Darren Cale's leading a Crow Eater consortium, which is behind fantasy footy, based on an idea from the United States, where sports fans try to pick the perfect baseball and gridiron teams. You now can uh, sit back and you can pick your own team and you can have uh, a lot of fun against other people, not only in the workplace, but a uh, place where you have a drink and at home. And it really is a good chance to show who is the more knowledgeable football follower. And if you really follow football and you really follow statistics, which is now these days a, a huge part, you just have to watch television to show how much statistics do take a part in football. And uh, if you, everyone knows that if your player picks up 25 kicks and has 15 handballs, uh, he's had a good game and it's going to show up in the stats. Is this the, uh, the ultimate uh, footy punting game? Well, I think so. As far as uh, football is concerned, for Aussie rules, it's the ultimate as far as everyone being involved. You, you become your own coach of your AFL side. And it really does uh, give you a different aspect on going to the football and watching the football. Not only are you watching your favourite team, but you're also watching your favourite players. The game has the backing of Carlton United Breweries and the blessing of the AFL. Entry will be free and you can change your teams weekly on a special phone line giving you the chance to be the coach and the selector. Uh, Centerman, uh, Jarman, Andrew Jarman, a bit slow do you reckon? It's a bit slow, a bit slow. <laughs> Starting next season, fantasy football will be played right across Australia. Well, it's going to be out next year, and uh, I know Darren Cole's behind that, and good luck to you, Killer. Fitzroy did a lot of work uh, and did work well despite Adelaide losing that game.